Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Chief Williams Unfiltered. Today I'm going to talk about uh, children respecting adults. It seems nowadays in 2018, you got kids just talking crazy to adults. And this starts in the household. So I grew up in the 80s and I was always taught to say yes sir, yes ma'am and respect all adult authority. So if I was staying with aunts and uncles, or if I was staying with friends of the family that were play aunts or play uncles or what have you, it was an understanding that they were in charge and whatever they said goes. If they told me to brush my teeth, I go brush my teeth. If they tell me to put on some socks, I go put on some socks. But nowadays, you tell a kid that's staying at your house, go brush their teeth, they say no. My mom said, I don't have to brush my teeth at night. Well, if you're staying in my house, and you're brushing your teeth at night, you're washing your tail at night, you're going to bed when I tell you to go to bed, you're putting a video game down when I tell you to put a video game down, and you just have to enforce the standard. So allowing kids and placating these kids, that's, a, that's an adult problem. So if we as adults aren't teaching our kids respect, that's our fault. That's our failure as parents. And I, I understand, I get it. We want our kids to have it better than we did. We want our kids to, to be able to express themselves. But we're creating a... a a generation of people that think that they are just entitled to whatever uh, the world has to offer uh, just they just talk any kind of way they think they don't have to do their schoolwork uh, and if we as parents aren't properly in enforcing the standard and, and making them do the right thing at all times that's our fault and that's our failure Another thing I want to talk about is keeping kids out of your business. There's absolutely no reason for your kids to be listening to your whole conversation when you're having sexy talk with your mate or telling your best friend about your plans for the weekend and how you can't wait to get away from your kids. You, and I think the cell phones and all this social media have really kind of ruined society because we get lazy, we forget that we have kids in the car or kids in the area when we're having our conversations. So if you're having conversation talking about what you want to do to this person or that person and how you can't wait for them to go down on you and all of this stuff, kids know what you're talking about because all they got to do is Google. If you don't know what going down on somebody is, a kid can look it up on the internet and find out you're trying to have oral sex with somebody. That's irresponsible of you to be talking about oral sex with another grown person. I don't know if people are heterosexual or homosexual. Whatever your business is, is none of that kid's business. So we as adults need to ensure that we separate what we talk about uh, from our kids' ears. Uh, another thing issue I have is kids and, and teachers. So I have several friends that are school teachers and every single one of them have students that talk back to them or other other teachers in the school or the principal or the vice principal. My mom was an English school teacher and then she became uh, an assistant principal later on throughout her career. And she was the nicest lady in the world. And she was saved, but she was also stern. And kids respect authority. So if you say what you mean and mean what you say, kids respect that. And very, very rarely did anybody talk crazy to my mom. She would check them real quick. And if you're not checking your kids or allowing other adults to check your kids, that again is a failure on you as a parent. 
the last thing I want to talk about is video games. So, apparently, kids aren't learning. I know one thing I was talking to a friend about, about cursive. So, they no, no longer teach cursive in school. So, kids only know how to write, um, how to print. So, if you only learn how to print, then you can't read cursive and you can't write cursive and you can't sign a signature. So if we are, as parents aren't uh, teaching our kids these things that are no longer being taught in school, then we're gonna raise adults that can't read an analog clock or, or can't read a cursive letter that maybe your grandparents wrote them or or a letter that you you had as a kid that you thought was important or a poem and I know that's just one example but the the analog clock is another big thing that I, I have a problem with uh, so many people only use digital clocks and don't know how to freaking tell time but as parents we need to take the time to teach our kids um, just regular skills life skills another example is how to change a tire so I, I understand as a as a female you might not know how to change a tire but if you have teenage boys you need to put those boys in touch with a man to teach them how to change a daggone tire there's absolutely no reason for you to be stuck on the side of a road waiting an hour for a roadside assistance to come rescue you when you have a teenage boy in the car there's no excuse for that. You need to get them in touch with a grown man, either your father or uncle or somebody. You have to know somebody that knows how to change a tire on a car. And these are life skills that we need to know and we need to pass on. When I taught both of my stepdaughters how to drive, I taught them how to check the oil and how to change the tire. Now, they might have roadside assistance and if roadside assistance isn't available, they're going to get their tails out there and change that tire and keep it moving. But um, that's all I really want to talk about is, is raising our kids to respect authority, uh, respect all adults, set the example, keep kids out of your business, and just, set, just be a good person. That's all I have. Make sure you like and subscribe. Out.